God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I think you do that. I think as effective as, as long as we do it Christ's way, be that light in darkness. Yeah. So try to make everybody else that light. Yeah. Y'all need to do it our way. Exactly. Y'all need to do it our way. You know, <laughs> the thing of it is, is that if you inspire a person to do something, you get a lot more cooperation out of them. You can. If you bet if they see that you you operate in their best interest instead of operating in their condemnation. And you're not called to do see that's why I think he said go preach the good the gospel. Because he said preach something that the person perceives as good. Us sitting there trying to discipline somebody like even like I said, when I was talking about the man with the adultery thing, how I packaged it created a negative reaction opposed to, you know, hey, so listen to my, you want to hear my thoughts about it, I'll be able to tell you about it, you know? Uh, or I could say, I could I could express and say, you, you sure, make sure you don't hurt your wife now, you know? In other words, just kind of put in a different perspective and it's the same time being corrected. But if you look at the posture that God has prescribed for us, it gives us a lot more survivability in a hostile environment because he tells us to approach the world system from a servant's perspective. Now, yeah. if you don't like what the servant is presenting, or maybe it, 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 you will keep them in your presence because of the benefit that they are to you personally. Exactly. So <clears throat> we had this one young man among us I name him. His name was Jackie Street because he's in the Hall of Fame, Music Hall of Fame. Excellent bass player. Uh -huh. And he, we had the, the blessing of having him in the midst of us before we were saved. Most of the members of the band weren't. They didn't know the Lord. But we all ended up in college together. I'm, I'm all down in Albany and Jackie's from Macon. And Macon, he comes to Albany and he has this little green Bible with him. Uh, little one. You need glasses to read it, right? Yeah, one of, yeah. He had one of the little New Testament Bibles with him. And everywhere he went, that Bible went with him, right? Uh, okay. Now, he's a bass player, probably the best bass player you ever seen, one of the best players you ever seen in your life. We, we, right. we bandsmen, we out running the streets and getting drunk and slandering and doing all that stuff that come with playing the band. Right. He's walking around with the Bible. When we're out trying to do something that was, you know, simple, or <laughs> that jacked up, Jackie be right there with us with yeah. the little Bible. Yeah. Now, do you know, honestly speaking, we did not want Jackie there with us. <laughs> Come on, brother. Come on. We out there trying to sin. Least thing we want some little dude telling us with a little Bible that we need to be doing something else, right? Uh -huh. But Jackie was such an excellent bass player. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. man was a musician beyond fault. I mean, like I said, he's in he's in the music hall of fame right now. Right. Most of us didn't make it because we were either drunk or something else. <laughs> but, on, but Jackie was so good at what we did that we couldn't separate ourselves from him. But eventually God did, and he went on to become relatively famous. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we kept him with us because he helped us. Exactly. We kept him with us because he was valued to us. And, and then, how much more a valued servant. And that, look, and he wasn't, he was not uh, Bible thumping you. He just said that that was for him. Y'all observed the Bible, but it sounded like you said he was not. Jackie was a Bible thumper, I'll be honest with you. He was a oh, Bible yeah. thumper. Yeah, he really was. But he was such a good bass player, we put, up, we put up with him. But I understand that God has called us to be servants in the environment that we go into. He said the greatest among you should be as your servant. Yes, sir. And we're not only to serve each other, but we're also to serve the world system. Yeah. So we should be the best workers on our jobs. Hey, hey look, they're showing a ticker on the, on the tape, right? Right? Bible. Oh, well. Look, look, Biden goes to church this morning. He did? The other, per the other person went to the golf course. Oh, that was dope. Yeah, that was Trump. <laughs> I ain't put no names in there. <laughs> you, see the, you see the difference? Yeah. And yet that, that 70 million was even evangelicals. They ignored that behavior. And you know, I'm sorry about that because it was to his detriment. Huh? It, was really, it was really to his detriment. It was. It, he ignored them or they ignored him. Right. But was, something was, happened there where he didn't get improved from that. You know, his yeah. soul wasn't secured. 
uh, uh, I don't know if their attempt was to secure it. So my, and my sincere prayer is that it was because one day, and this coming up shortly, Mr. Trump will no longer be the president of the United States of America, but he still will have this meeting with Jesus that I hope goes well for him. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? This man's soul is at risk. His soul has always been at risk. And I think that if we, the body of Christ, don't embrace that, we have totally missed our calling because this man's soul means way more than the influence. Of the policies and everything else, right? In other words, it was more important not to worry about offending the person. Did you look at it? You to say, if I'm your spiritual advisor, I am going to advise you. Yes. Until you tell me not to be your advisor. Same thing about the people that go to church. If you if you want me to be a minister to you then I'm going to minister you according to the word of God. And if I, if you're not operating according, I'm letting you know. As a matter of fact, I appreciate you letting me know what I'm not. But it's descriptive. The hell, I'm saying we have the blueprint. We do have a blueprint. And we and, 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 but we lose, sight, we lose sight of our objective. Yeah. We really, really do because even, I mean, even if I went to Mr. Trump today, I mean, I tell our president, our former president, our, our, our lame duck president, I would be more consoled, of, I mean, concerned about his soul than I would about his politics. Exactly. And, and because I understand that if he gets his soul saved, his politics is going to change. Exactly. And that was, what, that was one of my friends when they was trying to make the whole party, the Democrat Party, godless. They, they ignore the, the godliness of the person they were supporting. And that's why the scripture for people listening today is the fact is you can't have it both ways. Can't. Christ does not need the world. The no, world doesn't. needs Christ. He's him. Yeah. And, and the our job that... is to minister to one another as well as we minister to others about the behavior that we all need to strive toward. We're not telling you. And see, when we came with these laws about how much you can dance and what music you can listen to or video and stuff, we're trying to find things that 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 restricts people in the things of Christ. We need to let them know, hey, look, I, I don't mind you going. Look, we should say that, Elder. It's, you want to go to the club? You want to? That's okay. But I would like you to come to church. You want you want to sit there and you got to curse everything? Yeah, cursing coming out of your mouth. I would like you to read the Bible. <laughs> oh yeah. You, you see, what I'm saying this. I, I see. I'm. Well, I guess I, I guess my philosophy has always been. Our expectations should never be about the person's behavior when they first come in, or some people because they don't grow, but they don't grow unless we encourage them to do the things that allow them to grow, meaning study the word of God, right? Fellowship with God, right? Understand what the fruits of the spirit can look. Those are not legal things to say practice loving, practice having joy, practice having peace, practice having long suffering. Practice being gentle. Practice being meek. Practice being having self control. You see what I'm saying? We, that's what we want to try to uh, encourage people to do. The Bible told them, study to show yourself approved. Right? Yep. Yep. The Bible is sitting there saying, is don't, fake, don't forsake the assembling of one another. The I, Bible I, says that. The Bible said, love the world. And we're going to close up with this guy. It's going to be 11 o'clock now. It's, it's, it's uh, Mark 16. Let's close with it, with the emphasis on the last verse. All right? Because your job, like you said, you're going to go out there and do the street ministry. I, I'm, I'm going to sit there and uh, get ready for my work tomorrow because I'm behind. I'm really behind. Go ahead and read that 16, 14 through 20. Afterwards, he appeared into the eleven and upbraided them with their, with their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Yes, sir. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. 
They should speak with new tongues. They should take up servants, and if they drink, dick, 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 drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They should lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then after the Lord has spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and set on the right hand of the Father. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following amen and what i want to get out of there for people that's listening is this first of all we can't operate with hardness of heart and unbelief and this applies to every christian not not ministers right elder that's not for just ministers right? <laughs> it's the entire body of christ amen. but the blessing i like out of it is verse 20 for people to look at this says verse 20 mark 16 verse 20 and they went forth elder went forth a believer went forth and preaching everywhere. That could be the club elder. That could be the football game elder. That could yes, be sir. the crowd. That could be anywhere. <laughs> you went, right? But the piece, the, I think party. Bless, the piece I think that's a blessing as we wrap this up is this. The Lord working with them. Yep. Christ even said, without me, you can do nothing. So nothing. we have to sit there and go forth to preach the gospel with the Lord working with us, elder. But yeah. this is the part I like is the most blessing of all is he's confirming the words and signs coming out, right? Right. Somebody knock your door? Mm -hmm, somebody else. Give me one second. All right. Oh, oh man. Boy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Told me to get that all right. Appreciate you. Okay. All right. Now. God bless you, man. All right. Thank you much. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. That was my neighbor. They are. Uh, I have a friend that provides food for Amen. the elderly every Sunday. <laughs> hey, man, hey, there's your blessing right there. He just brought me dinner. <laughs> hey, I'm going to let you I'm gonna let you eat that. That's lunch, you mean. But yeah, then, yeah, it is indeed. But, but the point is saying is, in verse 20, anybody listening, please, I'm going to emphasize, I may even do a, a nugget video. Because yeah, it's, you, a short mm -hmm. it's the Lord is the one that's confirming the word of God <clears throat> Amen. with signs following. It Amen. is the Lord doing that. Our job is to confirm and preach the word of God. And we got to understand that we may not, some people may think it's not effective and that their opinions and their rules and everything else didn't come up with being effective. I will tell you the word of God is effective. Now, some people said that we caught that in Jimmy's video one time. He said they don't care about the word of God. You know, people that don't believe. But what they do care about is your behavior. That's what they care about. They do care about what fruits you're bearing. That's what they care about. You know? Yeah. They care about whether you love them. That's what they care about. Amen? Yeah, that, that's true. I, there was um, one one fellow that, and I, and I agree 100% concerning this, is that uh, it said that most of, the, most of what we know is for us. But we are for the people. Yeah. You are the Bible that they consume. That's living epistle. Remember? Yeah, living epistle. Right. And, and 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 it's kind of a I can't say this is not let not many of you be after tailors. <laughs> let not many of you be teachers. Right. Because we don't offend in word. We are perfect men, you know. Yeah. We are, yeah. but because I mean, but not by and not everybody's gonna be called to the same. And I don't know how this plays for our audience is concerned, but we are aware that uh, the word says to those who give them much, much is required. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's the long and the short of it. And you God know, feeds some of us to the point where we just got to go out and feed somebody else. Exactly. And we need to understand this. Everyone that received Christ received much. Legit. They receive eternal life. Amen. And that's all we're living for, man. Woo! And I'm, selfish, and I'm selfish enough to think I'm going to get rewarded for that. <laughs> hey, look. And I'm looking forward to it, too. I'm not doing it for fun. I'm just a nice guy and all. I want, I want rewards. Too. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you want to hear that? Well done, my good. Yes, sir. Friend. Well done, my good and favorite servant. Enter into your rest. And here, take all this other stuff, too. No, <laughs> so no, you. no, I'm serious. I, I really want that to happen, man. And uh, I, I, I thank God for the, the study because it does help us to hone our skills a lot better. It does. It does. It helps us to get focused, man. And, and we, we're going to go do this thing. Yeah. Uh, did you, you're going to do communion? communion or you gonna... Yeah. Do the communion. 
And, and, and for the people listening, I'm just saying is the whole purpose is God does the confirming of God's word. We sometimes we put more emphasis on our words or somebody else's words that was heard, but God is not Christ. The Holy Spirit is not confirming the words that come out of our mouth. He's no, confirming the all. word that coming out of the book of God, the word of God. So that's that's the main thing. Just just understand that can, you ain't got to confirm nothing to defend nothing. Christ can I add one thing before we go? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, 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 not not maybe cap it off, but I do want to kind of emphasize the importance of our fellowship with, with the Lord. Yeah. Because it's in our conversation with him and our prayer time with him that he imparts to us what he needs his people to receive. Exactly. You know, he'll give you specific individual I mean, information concerning the person. Yeah. He'll give you certain times, certain seasons, certain words are going to touch this person this way, and I need you to say this to them now. Yeah. And he'll even impart that information to you as you go. Exactly. But we have to be sensitive to listen, we have to listen for the voice of God to tell us how to interact with that person because we really don't know. We don't. We, we don't, don't know what they've been through. <laughs> we nope. don't know what their ears are going to hear when we say certain things, but we nope. need to let the Lord lead us by the power of the Holy Ghost into witnessing to another soul. Right. And I like, you know, this, the passage you read about the lady that was a sinner. Yeah. You know, she was a sinner. Yeah. That's what the Bible called her, a sinner. Yeah. But Christ's response to that sinner was, hey, you're forgiven. And on yes. top of that, he said, you showed me more honor yes. than that man that was <laughs> a man of God. Yeah. He ain't washed my feet, Elder. He, you know that's one of the customs they probably had, right? Yeah. Yeah. You wash a person's feet or have a place where they can wash their feet? Because your feet were dirty. Because That's where they used to travel all the time, right? They that was something, feet. though. Can you imagine the image of that? A woman washing the guy's feet with her tears yeah. and wiping him with her hair? Right. And, yes. and, and but can you you know what I didn't catch before I read this scripture though? Was this? What's that? He said, You didn't do that. That's right. Pharisee. You, you, didn't, didn't, do, you didn't even anoint my head. You didn't even anoint my feet. <laughs> you, you, know, you didn't even kiss me. You know, you didn't put, you know, I did back in those days, I guess they got a kiss on the cheek or yep. something like that. You kiss my head, my face. She kissed my feet. In other words, you didn't honor me. No, right. You don't love me that much. You don't love me like that. You invited me to your house, but you didn't invite me with honor. Yeah. And yet this woman that you was recognized as a sinner, she has honored me all the way. You see the there, difference? There's a scripture that said that love covers a multitude of sins. That's the one we read today. Yeah. Okay. Love covers a multitude of sins. Yeah, because yeah. you know, you're right. That's in Corinthians, but you're right. He said, "Is who is forgiven much, love is much." So, yeah. And if we don't recognize that we have a lot on the plate that needs forgiven, if we don't recognize that, if you're a mature saint and you've been in this for a while, but you don't recognize the forgiveness that you have received from Christ then you don't love him as much because you don't no, we're, 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 and, and, and honestly, not to make excuses, but to, you know, as an explanation for, I guess, um, we want to talk, man. We haven't been taught. This is the, the teaching is different. <laughs> the teaching right. is a lot different than what we have received in the past. Right. And uh, hopefully it'll manifest because he's going to, like you said, when we got it right, he's going to confirm his word. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Once we start to preach the truth, He's going to confirm the truth Amen. with science following. So, I'm happy to enter to this, this place, man. I'm not going to tell a lie. It, it, we, we're struggling to get here. Exactly. Because, exactly. I mean, you can, you can embrace bad teaching. Yeah. And when you, you embrace bad teaching, you get bad outcomes. Come on, bro. So, no, um, that teacher came. Don't forget that. They got to yeah. the slave master, right? I'm looking forward to seeing this stuff work. And, you know, one of the things, too, <laughs> they couldn't read. And yep. the difference in 2020 is that's why we show those scriptures so people can read, yep. right? And we can break down the word with them, for yep. them. That's what it's all about, Elvin. That's what it's all about. So go yep. ahead and give the communion. I appreciate the fellowship. On the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. He blessed it. He broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat all of you. But this is my body. We should be broken for you. So they took and they ate. Amen.
broken at. Uh -huh. After the supper was ended, he took the cup. The cup. Again, he gave thanks and praise. Uh -huh. He blessed them, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, drink all of you. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It shall be shared for you and for all men. All men. So that sins may be forgiven. All men. Whenever you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Amen. 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 So your prayers out. I appreciate it. And I think we had a great election. I thank God. I think the scripture we showed today showed you why 74 million people went another way. It's not to say that the other 70 were wrong. All I'm saying is that you can't have salt and sweet can't have salt water and fresh water coming out the same fountain. Amen. It's not going to be effective. And the Bible said this not ought to be. A Bible said that a tree is known by its fruit. Yep. And we want our nation to be known bearing good fruit. We got some That's things. What makes us a Christian. We got some things right. happening right now. There Lord God, show us the way. You said the judgment will begin in the household of God. You not, you not being a man that you should lie to son of a man that you should repent. We receive your word in faith. You said that the judgment will begin in the household of God. But you also promised us, Lord, that you would present the bride to yourself, having neither spot nor blemish yes. or wrinkle or any such thing, but a washing of water by the word. So we know we're going to be perfected. As yes. your body of believers, we will be perfected because your word says so. Yes. And we thank you for your patience, mm. for your wisdom, for your loving kindness. Yes. In, 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 in bringing us to a, a place of understanding. Hallelujah. <laughs> bringing us to the fruition of our growth. Yes, Lord. That we might manifest your glory in the earth. Yes. And that others may be seen, see your glory in us and working through us. Come on. And that they'll be drawn to you. Yes. And receive eternal life even as we have received. Woo. That is our that's our sincere prayer that continually working us, Lord, that you can draw somebody to you through us. Yes, Lord. We pray that all that we do be done to your glory and to the presence of your kingdom. Yes. And this we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Hey, we're we'll trying to see if we can pick this up on uh on Thursday if possible. Just okay. just